Hey guys, Karan from Mobi Scrub here and let's make you a pro at using your Galaxy Note 9 in ways that you did not know you could. First, the Galaxy Note 9 does not auto-record calls that you receive. In case you wish to record, you need to press the menu button while you're on the call and tap record. Now, you can make this feature a default. Go into your dialer settings and look for record calls. It is by default set to off. So you could just go ahead and turn that on and you know, you'll get some uh, disclaimer terms and conditions that you could just confirm and then just go inside and you can set up whether you want to record all calls or only from unknown numbers or only from certain selected phone numbers. And while we're at this topic, also enable show calls in pop-up. What that does is whenever you get a call and you're in the middle of something, you can continue to do that while the call is being displayed. So you can choose to interact with it or not, or you can continue to do what, whatever it is you're doing and then just, you know, reject it with an SMS or accept it all on to you. The next one is to enable instant dark mode on your Galaxy Note 9. Now, you know, I really prefer dark screens, especially in the night because otherwise the, the screen is so bright, it really hurts my eyes and having it dark is just so much easier. I do this by simply tapping the power and the volume up key together. And if I need to revert back, I just do the same thing again and it just toggles back. Now, this is not exactly dark mode, it's negative mode. It works brilliantly on text and plain backgrounds, but not so much for the pictures. So don't use Instagram or Facebook while you're in dark mode. Anyway, the idea is not to use it all the time, but only when you really want to use it to read or you know not have too much strain. So go into accessibility settings, go into direct access, and then turn that on and hit negative colors, okay? Just one note, remember that your edge lighting and always on display will turn off when you use dark mode. So you'll have to turn that back on manually. And guys, before we move on, it'll be great if you could just hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to reach to 100,000 subscribers and this would really help. Coming to the third one, I know Samsung didn't advertise this much, but pretty much like the Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus, you can set up a video as a lock screen. And I'm sure you turn on your lock screen multiple times through the day and having a great video lock screen would just look really cool to you and to people around you. So there are two ways to do this. One is having your own video as a video lock screen. So go into your gallery, select a video that you really like, hit on the menu and then set as wallpaper. It'll give you the option to set as wallpaper, hit that. The other is to go into settings, into wallpapers and themes, hit search and then search for video wallpaper. You'll get a bunch of results. Just tap on the one you like, hit install and you're all set. The next one is really just a tip on how to use the edge panels in a way that you maximize productivity on your Galaxy Note 9. The way I have it set up is instant access to the calculator, so I don't have to, you know, go on hunting for one. Direct dials, so I have my contacts placed here, the ones that I call most often, and I don't have to go into the dialer, search for them, tap on call and all of that. So just one tap and I make a call. And something that I really use is instant access to WhatsApp conversations to the guys that I talk to the most. So I think that's pretty handy. Now to be able to do all of this, just swipe on your edge panel, go into settings and first enable or disable the edge panels that you need and don't need. That's what I did first. Next, go into the menu and click on download. You will now see a bunch of edge panels that multiple developers have made for your ease and convenience. So go through them. You might not even know that you need them. So but once they're in front of you, you'd be quite amazed at, at what the edge panels can do for you. So download them or pay for them and install them. Because even some paid ones are really cool and efficient. You know, for example, the WhatsApp direct message is, uh, is a paid one. So again, feel free if you really find something useful and you don't mind paying for it, you can go ahead and download. Otherwise, there are quite a bunch of free edge panels available as well. All right, coming to the next one. Now, what I really like about Samsung is that they give you the choice to unlock the phone in as many ways as you want. Now, the trick is to configure it in the most effective and efficient way. I choose a combination of pin, intelligent scan and fingerprint. So basically, I have my iris and my face and my fingerprints registered. So if my phone is just lying down on the table and I want to unlock, I can use the pin. If it's too dark and my face unlock doesn't work, I could just use fingerprint. And if it's just convenient, then I use the face unlock and I go on with it. 
Okay, the next one is to turn off your always on display. And I know you're probably not going to like this. And the only reason I'm telling you this is that you are going to see an instant bump in your battery life through the day. So if you came home with just 6% of battery life left in the night, and if you kept your always on display switched off, you would have had almost 15% or 20% of battery life left. It's because always on display takes about 1% of your battery per hour, which might not sound a lot to you, but if you're out for 12 hours in a day, that's 12% right there. So just something to keep in mind. Coming to the second last one, it's to do with motion photo, which basically plays a small clip that it records on its own before you took a photo. But what you don't know is when you tap on play motion photo and you hit or you just tap on the screen, you can actually scrub left to right or right to left and have all the frames play out. And if you like a frame, just hit capture and it gets stored in your gallery. So, you know, if you were about to take a photo and you missed the moment, well, you can chances are that you go back in time and save that photo by scrubbing. And let me also show you how to turn motion photo on. So launch your camera app, go into settings and then look for motion photo. The setting is turned off by default. I have it on because I switched it on, but it'll probably be off in your case. So turn it on and you're all set. Coming to the last one. So let's say that you start taking a video and your LED flash is off. It's probably because there's ample light and your flash is on auto or it's on off. But let's say you want it to be on. I mean, there's not enough light, okay, for according to you. So just cover the lens at the back and hit record. It will just turn the flashlight on and it will keep it on for the rest of the recording. As I said, the only other way to do it is if your, or your flash uh, setting was turned to on. But that way, it will always be on when you record. So you'll have to go and manually turn it off. Right. Uh, I think a great way would be to just cover the lens and have it your way. So that's all from me, folks. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.